Welcome to MathLink, where we're going to connect the dots. I am Mr. C, and for this unit, I will be covering um, angular measures as far as multiplying and dividing. So let's get started to see how it's done. So here we are multiplying angles and how we're going to do this. We're going to look at this figure here. It says refer to this figure and we want to determine angle two. Now look at angle two. Angle two is in the light blue and it's all of these particular angles. One, two, three, four, five. Angle, there's five angles. A, one, two, three, four, five. In order to find that, and since they're all equal for angle A, which is the 43 degrees, 28 minutes and 45 seconds, and they're all the same angle, and there's five of them, in order to find the, all of them, and we're gonna call it angle two, we need to multiply that number, that angle A by five. So let's show you how we're going to do that. So here's our problem. I'm gonna write it in this particular way. 43 degrees, 28, five seconds time. Now the way to do this is multiply five to each of those units. So let's do that first. So five times 45. And again, we're just gonna write the answer down. So that's 225 and that seconds. And then we do five times the 28, okay? And the five times the 28 in our case is 140 minutes. And then the five times the 43. In our case, the five times the 43 will give us 215 and 215 degrees, if I'm correct with that. So we just did the multiplication of each of the units. Now you got to see, do I need to simplify each of the units starting from the seconds? In this case, we do, because we, we know that 225 seconds have some minutes in it. We, knew, we know that because we should have 59 or less seconds. And we know 60 seconds equals one minute. So knowing that our magic number, key numbers, not really magic, but our, our main number to think about is 60. So in this case, I'm going to say 60 to 25 divided by 60. Now we got to figure out how many times does it go into it without going over. I think we can use so it gives us 180, correct, five, carry that, that's 40. So that 45 is my remainder. And that's 45, look at this guys, 45 seconds. This three is three minutes. So this can be expressed as three minutes, 45 seconds. Now what we're gonna do we're going to add that 3 to the 140. So what I have here is 215 degrees, 250 degrees, 143 minutes, and 45 seconds. So I'm done with my seconds, OK? I'm done with my seconds. Now I got to look at that 43. So what are we going to do? We're going to divide that by what? Exactly. 60, because 60 minutes equals one degree. So let's do that. So 60 goes into 143. In our case, let's see, I think two would be a good number. Two times that is 120. That gives me 323, I believe, as a remainder. So 23 is a remainder. So this is um, 23 minutes. And that is two degrees. So this number here can be written as two degrees and 23 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is add that two degrees to 215. So notice what it gives me, 217, 217 degrees. In this case, we have 23 minutes and 45 seconds. And actually, that is my answer. Now, 
Sometimes when you do the multiplication, you may not have to convert the seconds. The seconds may be okay. You may only have to convert the minutes. And so make sure when you look at your answer that you make sure that it's both the minutes and the seconds are reduced to the term that they need to be less than 60. So don't write your answer with how I'm circling in green. Do not write it like that. Convert it to a, a degrees, minutes, and seconds of 217 degrees, 23 minutes, 45 seconds. So our answer should be what's in red. Now let's look at this particular problem. This example says angle one, angle two, and angle three, which is in light blue. They're all are equal. So those are equal angles. And we want to find what they are, given that the total of them three is 128 degrees, 37 minutes, 21 seconds. So in this case, we're going to use division. We're going to divide this number by three, since we have three angles, equal angles, and that's the key, three equal angles. So let's do that on our whiteboard. So here's our problem, 128 degrees, 37 minutes, 21 seconds divided by three. So the first thing you do, you start in the degrees. So when you divide, you're gonna start with the degrees and then you're gonna use the remainder of that to go into your minute, divide minutes, use the remainder for that to go into your seconds, divide into three. So let's show how this is how this is done. So we start off with a 128 divided by three. And so let's actually do that. So three, that'll be four, I believe. This is 12, bring down the eight. This is two, this is six, you should track again. And we have remainder of two. Now that remainder of two is two degrees because the only thing we did was divided the degrees. And so right now we have 42 degrees. That's on the top, that's our quotient. But our remainder, we're gonna add that two degrees to the minutes and then divide that by three. Now remember, one, I'm gonna write this in red and I'm erase it, one degree is equal to 60 seconds. So two degrees would equal 120, excuse me, 120 minutes, excuse me. So one degree is equal to 60 minutes or 60 is one degree or two degrees were equal to 120 minutes. So I'm going to add 120, that remainder, to 37. That's what I'm going to do. So in this case, this number is going to be 120 plus 37. What we end up with is 157, 157 minutes. So let's make sure we get those units right. So I want to make sure I say it correctly. Okay. Now let's write that down and do our division. So let's actually do the division for this one. So this would be three how many times does that goes into 157? 157 divided by three. So in our case, we got to have five, 15, seven, bring down to seven. This is two, this is six with remainder of one. One what? One minute. So now on the bottom, I have in a quotient, and I'm gonna circle, I'm gonna actually put a check here, check here. I have 52 minutes. So now I'm, I'm rewriting this on the bottom. 
42 degrees, 52 minutes, okay? Now I'm not done because I got to work with the seconds. I got to divide that by three. But before I divide it by three, I got to look at my remainder. I got one minute. So we know that 60 seconds equals one minute. And so I'm going to add 60 to that 21. So it's basically saying 60 plus 21, which will give me 81. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to say three, sometimes it go into 81. And that's what we're going to do now. So let's do that together. So three goes in eight, two, two times that is six, minus that's two, bring down the one, two, that's 27. And that 27 in that case is seconds. Now my remainder is 21, but since that is um, our seconds, we're just gonna have to worry about just the whole number, which is 27, and then put seconds. We don't have to use the remainder. So our answer, when we divide by three for each of those units, for the degrees, minutes, and seconds, we're gonna end up with 42 degrees, 52 minutes, seven seconds. Don't forget, whatever your remainder is, add it to the next unit over and then divide. A little bonus here for terminology. Let's talk about complementary and supplementary. Now, when you say the word complementary, I want you to think of 90 and supplementary, I want you to think of 180. So complementary are two angles. When you add them up, it gives you 90 degrees. So if one angle is 42. Let's look at this example. To make it a, to have a complementary angle, it's going to have to add the second angle to give us 90. So the second angle has to be 48 or vice versa. If one angle is 48, again, complementary, the other angle when you add it has to equal 90, complementary. So your two angles add up to be 90. Now for supplementary, two angles add up to be 180. And so if one angle is 87, your other angle has to be 93 and you add those two numbers, it should give us 180 degrees. So no, again, remember, complementary are two angles that add up to be 90. Supplementary are two angles that add up to be 180 degrees. Now, let's look at a little bonus problem. This will be our last problem. This is a practice problem. And we're looking at this particular diagram. And we got angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four. And they all um, add up to be 360 degrees, OK? Now. What we get in our diagram, they give us what these angles are. We know what angle one is, we know what angle two is, we know what angle three is. What we wanna find is angle four. What's the value of four? And in this case, we should add angle one, angle two, and angle three. Add them up. Use what we learned from addition. And then subtract 360 from that, at adding up the sum of those numbers to give us what angle four is. So in this particular example, I'll let the slide show you how to do it. So we're gonna add up all three angles. And when we add up all three angles, we end up, and notice what we end up with. We end up at first with um, 332 degrees and 82 minutes. Now notice we cannot have 82 minutes. So you're gonna to have to divide that by which number everybody? That's right, 60. And that gives you, um, it goes into their one time with remainder of 22. So that's why we end up with 33 or 333 degrees and two minutes, okay? So using that, using this, that is our sum of all three angles. Next step, we're gonna subtract 360, but notice 
we don't have any minutes, so we're going to have to take away one degree. So that'll be 359, and that gives me 60 seconds. This is what the actual subtraction we're going to do, because you always want your top number for each unit to be greater. And then once we do that, we end up with 23 degrees, 38 minutes. And then that's our answer. That's how we would do this particular practice problem. Again, I hope this helped fire as multiplying, dividing, and also a little bonus of our uh, particular degree or angular measurements. Um, if you have any questions, re-look over this video. Also look at some of the supplementary materials we have on our website here on MathLink. And remember, we wanna let MathLink bring it together. Again, thank you for watching this video.